Well, uh, obviously there is one concern about Shakib's, Shakib's bowling. Uh, what, do you, what can you tell us about that? And also, what if, if, if he's not bowling, then what sort of a balance are you looking for? Is it a four bowler attack or is it five? Well, first of all, um, good morning, lady and gentlemen. Nice to see you all again. Um, Shakib's okay. He'll bowl. Um, and um, he was a, a little bit bruised and battered, um, obviously with a one-day game here. Um, but he's gone through that, and um, he's he is first of all he's available for selection, and he's available to bowl. So he's good to go. Any selectors here? Um, <laughs> Uh, I can't see. Uh, to be honest, if I'm sitting here and just talking out of the room a little bit, I think it'll be the, th the same three spinners that we've seen. And obviously, I think with the, the uh, welcoming back of Tuscan um, and then Khalid as well. Uh, so, I, uh, you know, talking out the room, sorry to, uh, to the selectors, but I've, I've, that's probably what I can see happening. Uh, but the good news is, is that, that, that Shakib is, is good to go. And, and, uh, and I think looking, by looking at the pitch out there, I think he'll very much come into play. I think if you always put your, your, yourself in that, um, and I always use the, the reference to how the England fast bowlers mindset playing in Pakistan and how, how, um, how they get themselves involved in the contest. So your job, even if you've got three spinners, your job is almost like you've got a, a bit of a, a free ride to be a bit more expansive uh, as a quick. So you can bowl short and full for, for, for longer. Or shall I say four overs, you, you come and you just put everything on the table. So I think that for me, the learning out of the last test, if you saw how um, um, Shiraz and uh, um, Umesh Yadav bowled. You know, they, 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 they either went very short, very attacking, they had people out, catches in positions, the ball was slightly reversing, so as, as, if you're bowling with a spinner, you know what you're going to get. You know, you know what you're going to get. Uh, and, and so for me, I think the only change I would like to see is us be a little bit more attacking by using, because it's, it's, very, it's not easy ducking on pitches like this. And that's where your asset, if you've got a bit of pace about you, you can afford to be a little bit more expansive, a little bit more aggressive. Tuscan obviously coming up a little there, so is it a full ready to go? Tuscan is good. Yeah, he's good to go. Um, you know, he, he, was, he wanted to play in the last test match, but I think he was very much short of a gallop um, in terms of rhythm. And so it, the build-up in that test match last week was crucial for him. So. He finished off yesterday his work here, and, and he's, he's good to go. He's, he's, he's absolutely looking forward to the contest. Is there any chance to finish the game by win? We want to win, yes. <laughs> um, there's nothing like, you know, it doesn't matter where you play India in South Africa or you play India in India. And you put that in your highest uh, order of achievements where you want to beat a team like that home or away because of, of what they bring, the quality that they bring. And I think that we know that 150 in the last test match didn't cut it for us. And it's not, you're not going to win many test matches getting 150 uh, in your first inning. So I think we've spoken long and hard about the values of our partnerships. Um, and uh, um, and, and that we, did, we need to be much more resilient in those partnerships when we get them going. And I think in the second innings we showed that. So yes, we desperately want to win. You know, a lot of people, including myself, want to go for Christmas, um, um, and or shall I say, a delayed Christmas by having a win under the belt. Yes. Well, uh, spoke about batting. I mean, uh, what what can they do, uh, or how? Do you think the second innings is a good place to start for them to? That's a that's a great that, that that's a great. Um, blueprint for us, and, and I think the young man, he surprised, it's, a, it's the first time I've seen Zakir, um, I, I just love his attitude, um, I love his boldness and his, his attacking mindset, um, he's come to play, and he showed that he can take on the very best bowlers that they've got, and uh, he's been a, a terrific, shall I say, breath of fresh air, he's coming, he's, he's, 
he, uh, um, he backs himself. Um, so if we, if we need something to fall back on, that was the start, you know, in, 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 the, se in the second innings that we can build on. And we've shown that we can, we can run toe-to-toe -to -toe with India in, in that respect. But, uh, um, but yeah, I mean, this is a different pitch. Um, we'll see what it gives us. You got, you got one chance to cash in, and you win the toss, hopefully bat first, get out there and make 350 or 380. Um, I'm just sort of guessing off the cuff of what that value of that first inning score might be, um, but is it going to turn? It looks, it looks fairly dry, but you've got to cash in first innings. That's your only chance to, 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 put, to set the test match up in the first innings. And if we bowl, if, if we happen to be in the field, you know, we've also shown in the first innings we had India 40-odd for three, and we dropped a couple of tough chances um, that we cannot drop in at this level. You know, we can't make mistakes like that. So, and then you get, then you get put to the sword. So, um, but yeah, look, it's massive. I, I, you get one chance to set it up, and, and, and hopefully this test match we can put, put that right. With the ball? Yeah, with the ball. Yeah. Um, I think from a seamer's point of view, I'm just taking seamers. Uh, oh, let me, let me start again. Uh, from a complete bowling lineup, I think we've created chances. We've kept the run rate just under three or just above three. Um, you know that you're going to play in Chittagong. The test match is going to go long periods without much happening. And then when those chances come, you've got to take them. And, um, you know, the... The, the drop catch late in the day, um, you know, by, uh, I can't remember who dropped it now, um, Eberdot, sorry Eberdot, um, you know, th th those kind of mistakes we just can't make. Um, and um, so you, it takes such a long time to build pressure and such a long time to be patient, resilient and creative during those long periods that the game seems to be going nowhere and the partnership seems to swell and swell. Um, we've got to, you know, you, and I've been through it before, you just got to stick at it, stick at it. But when that half chance come, we've, we've just got to take it. And that, that unfortunately is the brutality of Test cricket. Um, so we've got to be more, much more clinical in that area. Yeah, look, they're the prized wickets, aren't they? And uh, it's like bowling to Tendulkar, and, and you, you know when that man walks the crease, the value of getting it right is absolutely paramount. And um, so when the great Virat Kohli steps up um, and you miss a chance against him, you're going to suffer because they don't give many chances after that. So. I thought we've been very good against him. I thought we've been very good against KL. Um, and, you know, it, it, I think you just feel the presence when these people walk to a crease. It's like bowling to Lara. You know that all of a sudden the temperature in the building just goes up and up. Um, so f for, me, for me, nothing changes tomorrow. I know that Virat's hungry. He's hungry. And he wants to prove that he wants to leave this test series with 100 under his belt. So... Um, I thought we've done very well against them so far, and hopefully that will continue from tomorrow onwards. Well, we have the, the high performance group um, in, in Chittagong. Um, I specifically asked for them um, because I wanted to see what, what youngsters uh, Bangladesh have got. 
Um, I was particularly impressed with Mushfik. Um, he's a big, strong, very athletic young man. There's a couple, and Rabid can help me out here, but there's a couple more tall, tall young lads that I was... Ashik. Ash Ashik, yeah, that I was very impressed with. Um, so I think the key from now on in is to have those kids more involved, um, more involved with our chats, more involved with our, with our dressing room discussion about our test match philosophy, our one-day philosophy, how we think, well, how, how I think as a bowling coach, um, a fast bowling coach. So um, I really think it's, uh, I really think it's, it's it, it was cool to have them around, and especially the spinners as well. It was cool to have them around. Do you have any Yeah, like I said, um, at, they were going to be here with us today uh, and yesterday, but they, they're also playing. So we didn't want to take them out of their, their, their um, playing environment. They were keen to play, but I think the initial contact for me was, was, um, was crucial. So but it was, it was, I think it was really nice. And, and, and it, I, I, my biggest vision here now for Bangladesh as a fast bowling coach is to expand the group and to be in a position where we can rotate players at will and, you know, and not, be, not be scared to pick a young uh, um, Shafiq or a Mushfiq or, you know, so that's the goal. Okay, last two questions. I think, um, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, I must admit. Um, I think that he is also, you know, everyone wants to keep sharp. Everyone wants to stay, stay with it in, t in case he has to keep. Um, I saw him, I was right behind him yesterday with the gloves. So I think it's just the professional that he is. You know, he, 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 he's just getting ready if something does happen. Um, and, the, and so does Mushi, you know. So um, the answer to that, no, I, 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 I don't know if he's going to keep. But uh, um, you'll see tomorrow morning. <laughs> Uh, how many tests has he played? Five, six, seven, seven. So um, he's still learning. He's going to make mistakes, and I like people like I like people making mistakes. So um, it's like me being left alone when I was young, tear away all over the show, skin and bone alone, and um, and that's that is coloured. But but I keep my positive reinforcement with him is that. He, the way he bowls is he's unpredictable. It's actually his strength. So he can bowl an absolute jaffa and he can bowl the next ball down the leg side and get caught down the leg side. So, um, but but the, the fact that Khalid has got a proper engine on him and he's a big, strong boy and wants to learn, wants to learn, ask questions every single day, that I cannot fault. And that's what I want to see from this group is that... Um, the moment I came in here was for me to take the shackles off the shoulders and be free and enjoy and take on and be aggressive. So, and that I, I if Khaled gets first ball down the leg side, he gets Kohli caught down the leg side, that's a Jaffa in my book. So, um, uh, so yeah, look, I'm, I'm not worried about Khaled. Khaled is just a, a great kid who wants to learn and wants to be successful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs>